In 10 years, Liam Quealy has taken a small Irish dog food business and turned it into a major player in the global pet food market. I suppose I grew up um, in a family of entrepreneurs. Liam, the eldest of eight children, grew up on a farm in Waterford. The family's involvement in the meat industry might have seemed like an obvious career for him to pursue, but Liam wanted to try something different. After finishing school, I went to college and I lasted two days, and I straight from college into selling meat to hotels and restaurants and hit the, hit the ground running, um, and I never looked back. I, I really enjoyed it. Liam's biggest career move came when he bought a small Irish dog food company in Nace. The company now produces the Irish Rover and Modra brands and exports to 19 countries worldwide. And of course, their biggest seller is pig's ears. Well, we're doing about a million ears a month. So uh, it's a lot of ears, a lot of pigs, a lot of deaf pigs. The big problem now, pig ears, raw meat, pig ears are the most expensive piece of the pig at the moment. And we're competing with the human consumption market in China. Not enough pig's ears, only two ears per pig. Wish there was four. We've had 10 years of unbelievable growth. All our new growth is coming from our export sales. We seem to be getting stronger and stronger because of our innovation. We're trying to be one step ahead of the next guy. The factory has outgrown itself at five times in the last couple of years. We've bought all the factories on either side of us in recent times and hopefully we'll continue to grow. Now, treat the dogs to a few little dog sausages. Rover! Back at home, some of the company's highly strung supermodels can prove very demanding. Now, this is the rescue dog Rover. He's, um, he's from Paws Rescue Centre and he's on one of our bags. Let it down or you'll be killed. We try not to spend a whole lot of money on our dog, dog models. This fella didn't cost a whole lot. We were always involved in horses. My mother has had a lot of success racing national hunt horses and she's been in Cheltenham and Punchestown. We breed to, to sell the colts and we race a few of the fillies. In fact, this mare here, her four-year-old rollover rover runs today. I'm going to have a look and see what price he is. I, I think he's a big chance today. This rain is after coming just in time. He loved the soft ground. Four to one now. He's, he's gone in favourite. Nero. And a delightful way. Bounced away smartly towards the inside in company with a Zana. Roll over and over. He's not far behind the leader. As they race now towards the final 200 yards, roll over, rover. Shella House putting in a determined bid on the near side of Mr. Penis and a coup in between them as they go towards the line. Roll over, rover just repels the challengers. So it's a win on the track for roll over, rover, but will it be an Entrepreneur of the Year trophy for his owner? <laughs> to win it would mean a whole lot to us all. I mean, to, to win would be, I mean, to be a great achievement for... for all concerned, I mean, from a family point of view, from, from the commitment of all my staff and, and, and the work, hard work that's been done to, by every, each and every one of them, it would be a great achievement and, and brings a lot of prestige. Hey, one for everybody. Two minutes.